An integral mission of being the shepherd and of being a member of the Church of Galveston Houston is outreach. Care for those who are vulnerable, who are poor, who are in any need, and advocating on their behalf. In the Archdiocese of Galveston Houston, one of the main official roles of that kind of work is done by Catholic Charities, and they do it very well. Without Catholic Charities, so many people would not be served, huh? So many people who are in desperate need, whether it's family problems, lack of proper housing, lack of being able to have access to good counseling, those things would not be available to those who need them without Catholic Charities. My grandfather and his wife and three sons were basically homeless during the Depression in the, the late 30s. and. Uh, the stories I heard from them about being poor and having one pair of shoes and one pair of pants when they went to school and how the other people made fun of them, not to their face, but they could tell, really made me realize how important it is that we help the poor and the, the uh, underprivileged of our community. Sometimes people think of the word Catholic charities as being just geared for our members of our Catholic faith, but the word Catholic means universal. We welcome everyone. We're there to support a community, regardless of what faith they belong to, what race they belong to, what whatever social economic base you belong to. Is We're there for support, and just getting to know us, you'll catch the fever that runs around us that is the spirit of love itself. We serve over 80,000 people on an annual basis. Our main goal is to ensure that people who are in need coming to seek assistance from us achieve the highest level of self-sufficiency. It's amazing the stories that I hear. I am sorry that I, I need to come to you. I know there are others who are more deserving, but I really need your help right now. They come with such humility and in turn, our goal is to make sure that they receive assistance in a dignified manner, in a way that they're able to become self-sufficient so that they can go on and live their lives independently.